constant improvement beats delayed perfection every time. So what do I mean by constant improvement over delayed perfection? I'm gonna give you a perfect example. Last year, at an event called Connect, I had this idea of doing something called the Business Toolbox. And so I have one right here. This is the Business Toolbox. We had a bunch of stuff in it, uh, books and materials and all kinds of stuff of value that we would sell at the event. And I went online and I ordered it, right? Did this cool thing, put my logo on it, Business Toolbox, everything, and the boxes showed up. And what you can't see on the box, because it didn't show, is in black, my first name, then my last name is in blue, because that's how my logo is. Well, the first name didn't show up, so it just looked like it said Wilson, right? And so we could have said, oh, scrap the project, throw all the boxes away, but no, we just are into constant improvement. Just ship it, as Seth Godin says. Just get it out there and let the market give you feedback. So we got these boxes, and I found uh, one of my team members like, I got the idea, we found a silver, Sharpie and I wrote my name on the front and the top of every box over hundred and twenty boxes I spent two hours probably writing my name on it, but it doesn't matter like we just constantly improve and we sold almost $20,000 worth of boxes and content at the event because we didn't let this stop us where other people are like Oh, I can't do it. It, it wasn't perfect. It's never gonna be perfect. Just do it and be in a mindset of constant improvement. If I would have delayed it to find the perfect box and the perfect design, it never would have happened. Just go make it happen, constantly improve. Okay.